Namaste. Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. Hum achehe kaisehe ah. And today we're going to be reacting to another video on the coronavirus. Will India evacuate Pakistani students from China? The government will answer. So this is from Hindustan Times and we've done stuff from them before. Yeah. And um, this was a recommendation. We've also done a couple other coronavirus we know today. Uh, numbers have been going up for death tolls, While. unfortunately. Yeah. Um, it was like 85, 84, 85, just in the last 24 hours. And, and then altogether they have almost 35,000 casualties. Cases. Of cases, it. yeah. yeah. 35,000 cases and there was like, um, yeah, 3,400 something like that just today. Cases, new cases of it. And then it. 722 people died. Yeah. So the numbers are going up. Uh, the pictures from, you know, Wuhan is like a ghost town. Yeah. Um, you know, it's really sad. Hopefully they're going to be able to get stuff under control and, and get... Um, Rid of this sickness. Yeah, but we've seen a lot of sad videos. Um, you know, India has been taking its students back home as many as they can and, uh, you know, treating them and making sure that they don't have it and... Um, and Pakistani students, the videos we've done have been most of them like really sad, like they're being left. They don't know why their government's not helping them. Yeah. They're looking out the window as the buses are coming for the Indian students to take them back or home. Or the planes and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just so sad. Like Imran Khan gets up on his pedestal and yells about Kashmir every second he gets. But when they ask, you know, these students have been asking to come home. They're like, well, the Quran says... You know, leave people. If there's a you know outbreak, they should leave them. You know, Allah will deal with them and and like washing their hands. But I think there's been enough crying. Yeah. Um, people saying like you know they're kids. These are all, you all most of the people. And are they're like really smart. Students. Like they're there for yeah. a reason. Yeah. Yeah. They're doing schooling there. Like, don't let China being your puppet master your friend yeah get in the way of bringing home your people that are asking to come home they're scared they're like trapped in the building with yeah they're not able and to i mean anywhere. like you can tell the difference from the room of pakistans and the room of indians the indians mm -hmm. are so happy they're home they're doing dancing right and even though they're in quarantine yeah and they're not allowed to physically leave to but go they're home. happy yeah. they're home but they're in india so they're home and uh, they'll get to see their family soon. So yeah. it was just so sad for them to say, like, please save us. And uh, we know Modi has offered um, around the neighboring countries if anybody wanted to, um, you know, use their help to bring their students home. So I think, I, I hope, I, we haven't seen this yet, but I, I hope Imran Khan, you know, takes his head out of his butt and says, like, Let's do this because maybe it will open up new doors, good doors, not bad yeah. ones. So, all right, let's watch it. सर वहाँ पर जो पाकिस्तानी स्टूडेंट्स फंसे हुए हैं वीडियो देख रहे थे हम उसमें उन्होंने बोला मोदी है तो मुमकिन है मोदी जिंदाबाद और उन्होंने बोला कि पाकिस्तान गवर्नमेंट हमें नहीं ले जा रही है तो भारत सरकार हमारी मदद करे तो आप लोगों ने क्या इस पर कुछ चर्चा हुई है कुछ विचार देखिए फिलहाल तो पाकिस्तान सरकार की तरफ से ऐसा कोई हमारे पास रिक्वेस्ट आया नहीं है बट अगर ऐसी सिचुएशन बनती है और अगर हमारे पास रिसोर्सेज हैं तो हम इस पर जरूर विचार कर सकते हैं
you see, when we started this exercise, um, I, I shared with you last time that we did contact the people, the Indian nationals who were living in the city of Wuhan, and also in that province. We ascertained their convenience, willingness to travel to India. Based on that, we prepared a list. We had a list ready with us. And uh, based on the number of people who had indicated their desire to, to come back to India, we had mounted these two flights. And in th those two flights, we got several hundred Indians back. Some Which people yeah. who were not well, and you know, I mean, during these times, there are very strict health protocols in place, both <coughs> in China as well as in India. So because they could mm -hmm. not Taking go through that health screening obviously. process, yeah. in, I think b between the two flights, you had 10 such people who had in, uh, you know, indicated their willingness, but they could not travel because of, of uh, the screening failure. Where are we now? Uh, number one, that we, and of course, you know, apart from these 10, there are several other people who are in that province who chose to stay back. Of course, in the wider Chinese mainland, there are several other option, people, right? hundreds, yeah. and hundreds and thousands of people. But we are talking about Wuhan and Hubei. We got in touch with the Chinese authorities. I'm talking about the people who stayed back, you know, some of the 10 of them who could not uh, come back uh, in the flight. And specifically, we sought their assistance to monitor the health and welfare of these uh, Indian nationals. Our mission, we are in regular contact with them. And we are exploring all possible options to ins ensure their safety and their well-being. As far as Indians, other Indians are concerned, as far as Indians perhaps in some other uh, adjoining provinces are concerned, Look, we are very closely monitoring the situation. You know, you know that it is, a, it is an outbreak of, of huge propor proportions. And uh, we are committed to the welfare of Indian nationals who are abroad. And we will take steps as necessary. You know, you are aware that uh, you have uh, these high-level meetings taking place at a very regular basis. Yeah. And as and when They're any decision is taken, I think I'll be, you yeah. you know, you'll be briefed through the press releases or, you know, I mean, from ministry, as far as the ME angle is concerned, I'll be always uh, here to brief you. This was interesting to hear that not only have they been keeping a contact since the beginning with the Indians in China, but, um, you know, offering them to come home and some of them, you know, wanted to stay. Yeah. But... Unlike Pakistan, at least they had the option to stay or go if yeah. they wanted to go. Yeah, because Pakistan's government and Pakistan itself is not helping these poor kids who are in China. and Requesting. Requesting to come, but we're also requesting Modi because their own government's not helping them. They're right. saying, go to Allah. Right. Like, They're don't bother yeah. coming here. You can't. can't. We yeah. can't facilitate you and so you need to stay there and you know and they're not even asking like Modi or they're not even asking India to help they're just like nope you get to stay there and I bet if they asked India would help them if they needed help like these Pakistan kids are asking for help because their own government won't help them right yeah and if Modi has the capability to bring home uh, the Pakistani students he will he so would if um, Imran Khan would, or the Pakistani government would come and say, like, we don't have the facilities and our students are really asking. They're scared. Um, you know, they're left there and it's like a ghost town and yeah. they don't know what's, you know, kind of going on and they want to come home. Can you bring them? And then, you know, once they've gone through quarantine, you know, send them to us or we can, you know, have somebody pick them up or whatever. Yeah. But, he needs to stop, like, every other second he's yelling about Kashmir, like, and your poor kids are yelling. I mean, these are, like, kids. 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 Not, like, you know, older people. Like, I'm sure there's a lot of people there, but these are, like, young kids that have a bright future. And you could say, you know, they're, like, engineering students. Yeah. And, you know, just because China's your friend... Your You're friend. not stepping on their toes to bring these kids home that are asking you. They're just scared. 
Yeah. And um, it breaks my heart to hear them when they're like, please save us. You know, Modi had offered the neighboring countries to bring their people home if they wanted to already. Yeah. Um, you know, they could have taken that opportunity to ask for their kids to be brought home. And um, before it got where they were, I mean, crying before on it got social worse, media yeah. that they're stuck and they don't know what to do. Um, you know, really just getting off your cashmere pedestal and think about humanely, not what China wants me to say or do, but what you should do for your own people. Who do you care about if yeah. you don't care about your own countrymen? Like, like your country is your brother, is your family. You should mm-hmm. care about them. Yeah, and do what you can. And if you can't, you know... Ask for help. Ask like, for help. India would be honored to help you. Yeah. And maybe it would open doors for good things yeah. in the future. And, and if not, find somebody who will help, but... I know Modi would not think twice if Imran Khan said, you know, can you bring these few kids home? And, um, you know, they're really scared. We don't have the facility. You know, we need your help. I don't think he would second guess it. I yeah. think he would do it, you know. So, um, yeah. So I hope you guys like this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And join the wonderful Jan family. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.